Charles Blondin was a Frenchman in the 1800s. He became world famous when in 1859 he stretched a thin rope across Niagara Falls, about a quarter of a mile above the thundering water, and he walked back and forth. Crowds would gather daily to watch Charles walk across the falls. But then to keep the crowds coming, Charles had to do even more elaborate stunts, and he came up with crazy ideas. One day he walked across blindfolded. The next day he rode a bicycle across. He even walked across on stilts. Until one day he came up with this idea and he said, uh, I'm gonna push a wheelbarrow across and crowds gathered to watch Charles push a wheelbarrow on a thin rope across Niagara Falls. When he got to the other side, they cheered. And then he threw sacks of potatoes in the wheelbarrow and he pushed it back across to their side and they cheered again. And then Charles looked at the crowd and he said, who thinks I can push a person across the falls? And everybody cheered and said, yes. And then he said, who wants to volunteer to get in the wheelbarrow? And it got deathly quiet. You know, I've been thinking this morning about our lesson on Sunday as James taught about genuine faith and fake faith, uh, real faith and fool's faith. And I think that that illustrates a, a difference in faith. We want a safe faith that doesn't cost us anything. But I think that genuine faith is more than an intellectual assent. It's more than saying, God, I believe in you and I believe you can do these things. It's saying, I'm willing to stake my life on it. I'm willing to actually get in the wheelbarrow. See, I think that's what genuine faith often feels like. It feels like sitting in a wheelbarrow above thundering falls being pushed across. But faith is saying, I believe in you, God, and I trust in you completely that I'm going to go all in with you and know that you will get me safely to the other side. And I believe it's the only way to get safely to the other side. I love what the writer of Hebrews says in Hebrews chapter 11 about faith. He says, and now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. And later in verse six, he says, and without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he re rewards those who earnestly seek him. What kind of faith are you operating in today? A safe faith? A comfortable faith? A fake faith? Or do you have a genuine, living faith that says, God, I'm all in with you. It's risky. It's a little scary. But I'm going to trust you with everything that I have. And I'm going to let you push me, carry me all the way to the other side. I want to challenge you, Cornerstone, today. Let's walk in real faith. We don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Let's operate and activate that.